Pork ribs are easy to figure out, but boy, those beef ribs sure can be confusing. So I'm here to break them all down for you to help you out next time you go to the grocery store. A cow is divided up into different primal sections and the ribs are actually cut from three different primals. The rib primal is located on the sides and the back of the cow. The plate primal is the belly and the chuck primal is located up near the shoulders. We're gonna start with back ribs. These are back ribs. They are cut from the rib primal and they're located along the back side of the rib cage. They usually come in packs of about seven bones, but sometimes they're cut individually as well. There's not a lot of meat on top of the rib bones, but there is a lot of meat in between the bones. That's called intercostal meat. These are really good if you smoke them low and slow until they get tender. Let's move on to the most common type of beef rib, and that is the short ribs. But this is where it gets confusing because short ribs can actually be cut from all three of those primal sections. We're going to start with the plate short ribs. These are what people call dino ribs. They are so huge. They're bigger than my head. They usually come in three bone racks and they're usually about six to 10, sometimes even 12 inches long. This rack alone weighs about 10 pounds. Plate ribs are delicious when they are smoked slow and low. Sometimes people call them brisket on a stick. These are my favorite ribs from the whole cow. The challenge with plate ribs is that they are a little hard to find at your local grocery store. Sometimes the big box stores carry them or you can order them online. But if you wanna to talk to your local butcher, tell them that you want cut 123A and they should be able to special order them for you. There are two types of short ribs that most grocery stores do carry. These are the English cut short ribs. The packaging though will most likely just say short ribs. They could be cut from the plate, chuck, or rib primal, and you don't know because it doesn't have to say on the packaging, but these are delicious. These are super great if you cook them slow and low on a barbecue. You can also cook them in an Instapot or slow cooker. They have about three inch bones and the meat rests on top of the bones. And when it cooks down and that connective tissue breaks down, they are really nice and tender. The next cut that you'll find at the grocery store are these. These are called flanken style or flanken cut short ribs. They can be cut from the same three sections of the cow, but these are cross cut. So if you were to take the plate short ribs and actually cut them this way across the bone, instead of the single big long bones, that's when you get flanken cut short ribs. They usually have three to four small bones, and then they're usually about a quarter inch thick, and that's where you get all the meat. What's great about these is if you marinate them, you can grill them hot and fast in a matter of 15 to 20 minutes. These are really popular for Korean style ribs or those great kalbi ribs that you find at Hawaiian barbecue restaurants. Another cut of ribs that you'll find at the grocery store are country style ribs, but guess what? These are actually not ribs at all. These are chuck meat, the chuck primal, basically the cow shoulder cut into strips that kind of resemble the size and shape of a rib. They're completely boneless, they're not from the ribs at all, but they're really fun to cook down. They're usually a little bit less expensive. They break down nicely, just like a pork shoulder would, so you wanna cook them until they're nice and tender. The last rib cut that I wanna to talk to you about are rib fingers. No, cows do not have fingers, but there is a rib finger cut. Where this comes from is if you were to take two tomahawk ribeye steaks, you've got those long bones, when the butchers French the bones in between, there's a layer of meat. This is called a rib finger. So it's technically like a short rib, it's the same area, but it's just the boneless meat that you would get from a short rib and they're called rib fingers. A Little more challenging to find, but those are fun to cook slow and low as well. So as you can see, when it comes to beef ribs, you have a lot of options. I like to cook the flanken style cut when I don't have a lot of time because they cook hot and fast. If you have a little bit more time, go for those regular short ribs. If you wanna do something that's really Instagram worthy that does take several hours, go for the beef plate ribs or dino ribs. And if you're working on a budget, consider something like the back ribs. This whole rack was only $6.50. I hope that tutorial helped you out. If you're looking for more barbecue tips and recipes, be sure to check out girlscangrill.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.